Okay, on to our final topic in adjusting journal entries, and that topic is unearned revenues. So, uh, unearned revenues are kind of like the cousin of the prepaid expense, and they're like the cousin of the prepaid expense in, in one way particularly. They're not a revenue at all. A prepaid expense, we said, wasn't an expense, it was an asset. Well, an unearned revenue isn't a revenue, it's a liability. And an unearned revenue happens anytime a customer pays us in advance. So they give us the money before we do any work. We've got money, but we haven't earned it yet. We owe that customer something. We, owe, we don't owe them money, we owe them a product or a service. So when you pay for uh, something in advance, or when you're paid for something in advance, I should say, uh, you owe that customer either a product or a service, but the fact that you owe makes it a liability. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through this problem, and we'll, we'll look at how it works. Uh, it says, McLean's Maintenance agrees to provide six months of street cleaning service for a small townhouse complex at a rate of $200 per month. The complex pays McLean's $1,200 in advance on January 1st. The company's fiscal year end, uh, April 30th, uh, is April 30th, and at that time it had provided the first four months of services agreed. So, record the journal entry on January 1st and the adjustment on April 30th. Okay, so on January 1st, let's see, it says the complex plays, pays McLean's $1,200 on January 1st. So, we're McLean's. On January 1st, we're getting paid, so anytime you're getting paid, you're getting cash. Cash is an asset. It's an asset going up. We're going to debit cash. So let's debit our cash. I forgot to date this. January 1st. We're going to debit cash, and they paid us $1,200. They paid us six months in advance. So we're going to debit cash for $1,200, and that, of course, goes under the debits. Now, they've given us $1,200 not out of the goodness of the heart, their heart. They've given us for us to provide them service. We owe them $1,200 worth of service. So the credit here is to a liability, but it's a liability that we're going to call a revenue. Very awkward. So we're going to call this unearned, and that word unearned modifies this from being a revenue to being a, a liability. Unearned, and what kind of revenue? I guess maintenance revenue. So I'm going to call it unearned maintenance revenue. So again, the word unearned means it's a liability. Unearned maintenance revenue, $1,200, and that, of course, goes under the credit heading. So debit cash, because we got $1,200 of cash coming in the door. Credit unearned maintenance revenue. We want to earn maintenance revenue. We're going to as time goes by, but we haven't earned any yet. We owe these guys $1,200 worth of maintenance. So this uh, journal entry was a transaction. You know, we transacted some business. They gave us some money. We recorded a journal entry. Um, the B part of this is our adjusting journal entry. So let's move on to B. April 30th is our fiscal year end, our financial year end. We're going to do financial statements. And what we've got to say on our fiscal year end is we don't owe these guys $1,200 worth of service anymore. It says we've provided the first four months of service as agreed. Uh, so if we provided the first four months of service as we agreed upon, we don't owe them $1,200 anymore. We've done some of the work. We've got to figure out how much of that work we've done. So again, it was $1,200 for a six-month contract, 200 bucks a month. It actually said that in the question. $200 a month, and we've done January, February, March, April. We've done four months worth of work. We've done $800 worth of work, meaning we've earned $800 worth of revenue. So whenever I earn revenue, I know it's a credit. Revenues have to be credited. I'm going to credit maintenance revenue. Not unearned maintenance revenue. This, re this revenue has been earned. Maintenance revenue. And I've earned $800 worth. My debit is to say this revenue is not unearned anymore. I don't owe them $1,200 worth of work. Whenever I pay off a liability, I debit it to make it go down. Well, in this case, we're paying off a debt by, by servicing them, by, by doing service for them. So I'm going to debit unearned maintenance 
Ooh, sorry, my writing's so bad. I'll just say Rev for short. And that's for 800 bucks. So debit, unearned maintenance revenue, credit, the actual maintenance revenue account, and you're all set. This is our adjusting journal entry. And again, the reason is the townhouse complex that hired us, they have no idea this is happening behind the scenes. They're not saying, oh, these guys have earned $800 now. We better invoice them on April 30th. No, no, no. They're just thinking, okay, well, our contract ends in a couple months. Maybe we'll renew them or not. Uh, but they've done four months worth of work. Again, uh, we've done four months worth of work. We've earned four months worth of revenue. We need to say it's not unearned anymore. It's been earned. Debit unearned maintenance revenue. Credit maintenance revenue. We've got a good adjusting journal entry. Okay, so that's it for our five categories of adjustments. I'm going to make one final video to kind of summarize all of these and really wrap it up and hopefully give you a good feeling for what makes for an adjusting journal entry. I'll leave this video here.